Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits, back at it again. Today we are playing Elden Ring. Mainly because, uh, well, I need something to fill the gap between Inkbound Season 1 and Inkbound Season 2 while I fiddle with other stuff, and uh, usually the internet likes watching you suffer, so we're going to go ahead and try out some Elden Ring. Note ahead of time, I am, like, garbage at the game, or at least I've played through Dark Souls 3, and I'm terrible, so expect a lot of deaths. Maybe that's what you guys are looking for, I don't know. Uh, otherwise, just want to say up front that first off, obviously, this is a brand new game so it's going to have different audio levels feel free to leave feedback in the comments about any like audio issues or anything like that that you guys are seeing and uh any sort of feedback that's going to help improve the viewer experience like that secondly i am doing this as my first experience with the game and i want to share that first experience of the game with you guys as such, any help you guys have as far as like character building or piloting the game is absolutely acceptable down in the comments. Things that are not acceptable is anything that's like, you know, map secrets or anything like that. I really don't want to know about the fact that if I open up the secret wall in this area, I get access to the best weapon in the game and it completely trivializes all the content. Really don't care, just trying to experience the game. And I'm hoping that everybody can understand that and we can all enjoy ourselves here. Secondly, um, I've played through Dark Souls 3. It took me 80 hours. I think that Elden Ring takes longer than 80 hours, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish Elden Ring within the allotted time. We're going to see what happens uh, with the series when that comes up. Anyways, let's go ahead and start our game. We are going to adjust brightness settings. We are going to do what the game asks and make it as barely visible as I possibly can. I've already gone through all this stuff. And 100%, I already know that we can be a samurai, so you know that my weeboo ass is going to be doing this. Increase max HP. So, like I said before, this is pretty much, I would say, as fresh an experience as you might be able to see. Like, it's not the freshest possible experience. I've had Elden Ring playing on, like, a second monitor in my Discord uh, with people streaming it. So, it's not like... I haven't seen like say boss battles or stuff like that but as far as like uh, map traversal things like that I am I have completely no idea what I'm doing which is I'm hoping like good as far as you guys are concerned I that's not a passive So, this seems like the most tangible, useful thing here. I know that, um, what is it, the, the sword, stone sword key? I'm guessing that this is allowing me to unlock things theoretically earlier than I should. Which sounds good, except that I am ass, and I don't know if that necessarily means that I'll be able to actually be good with whatever I've just unlocked. So I think that the easiest thing to grab here is either having maximum HP for the start of the game while I'm still learning, or, um, if I understand this correctly, this is like your Estus shard, like, um, flask plus one. But... 
my guess is that I still have to get to a place that would allow me to use this in order to enhance my flask. But at least when I get to that point, I'm going to have better healing because I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. So these both basically seem the same, except this seems like it allows me to get more progression than I theoretically would. Because I don't know if you can like buy these willy nilly or something like that, or if there's like a max level to sacred flasks. But um, eventually, I'm theoretically going to want to get rid of the increased maximum HP amulet. But I don't know how much maximum HP that is. If this makes my early game comfortable, it seems like it's a very good choice. This just seems like the best option. Otherwise, I know the, from like Dark Souls 3 that like... Um, that, uh, you know, being able to start with uh, certain things are like significantly better. Like physical damage negation, I don't know if maybe the first boss is... Anyways, we're going to go with Golden Seed. And yeah, sure, that looks good enough. That's a bit too muscular for my taste because I am Twig. But um, I, I think that I can self-insert here. Oh, I got to enter a name. Of course. We knew it was going to happen. All right. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shard of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise uh -huh. now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the All-Knowing. Grace 
would again bless a tarnished of no renown. OMG, that's me. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before. And become the Elden Lord. All right. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Pressing Y to activate things is a little bit weird. Like, I may be mistaken, but even by Japanese standards, that's a little odd. Usually, it's the, um, the left button. Learn to run. Okay. Our completion of this game has been sped up by at least 20%. It's locked. So while I'm walking through No Man's Land here, uh, a lot of you might be asking, well, Bits, in the Darkest Dungeon 2 video, you said that you would never, ever, ever play Dark Souls 3 again. So what gives? What's going on here with the Elden Ring? Well, first and most importantly, Elden Ring is not Dark Souls 3. Secondly, uh, during the last Steam Summer Sale, I have sort of a thing where I will open up the roguelikes section of the uh, the storefront and generally speaking like almost everything that's at like the top games of roguelikes I own right so it's just a whole bunch of blue there and I start to look at the things that are highest ranked that I do not own and lo and behold at the top of the chart there was uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is apparently the most popular roguelike of our time right now which um goes into a whole bunch of hoopla of like like i understand they've got to like market it somewhere but uh my mentality is that uh the souls like games are not roguelike games even though they share vaguely similar structures um but down in the comments below how do you feel do you feel like uh elden ring is a souls like i'm here to get my ass beat now I knew that that was a scripted boss fight. I kind of expected to put up at least somewhat more of a fight, but uh, just absolutely ended up getting embarrassed. It's okay. Plot advancement get.
Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Man's literally can't help it. She literally just left me there. To be fair, though, I was obviously all right. My Bushido armor blocked all the blows. I can heal now. I can jump. Uh, which button is flashlight in this game? Or did we cut that too because there's not enough buttons on the controller? Okay, you're not going to let me press Y to confirm that. That's a little odd. I should probably take the tutorial. Okay, I was checking to see if that wasn't a bonfire equivalent. Okay, they're teaching me about healing. Love to see it. Okay. I've learned how to backstep. It will be used exactly twice during the entire run. Okay. He stood no chance. That's early. He faked me out. Okay. Feeling relatively good about that. We correctly backstepped. He can learn. They're not something... Oh, it's just a bunch of... Uh... Gotcha. Hello? Okay. 
I shall acquire materials. Oh god, there's item crafting now. It really is Souls of the Wild. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm gonna get behind you. Or not. All right. First shot is free. Y plus right bumper, left bumper, right bumper is wheel two hands. Okay. They really made that. Uh, difficult. I don't think that two-handed is quite my speed right now. I probably need the ability to block, but we'll get there. Although being able to one-shot these fools does have an advantage. F your furniture. I need, uh items two types of arrows okay well I certainly hope you didn't drop anything Oh my goodness, this is so weeb. What the heck? It does like double damage? Oh no. I think we're at the typical gamer moment where I say that I'm uh, bored of the tutorial area and ready for the game. Then as soon as we leave the tutorial area, I'm about to get my ass beat. Well, jumping... Wait, we got jump attacks? It's not an instant overhead, though. This isn't uh, Ultimate Marvel 3. What the hell am I saying? Ultimate Marvel and Marvel 3 are two different games. Unless... You'll be resigned at the last sight. Ah, I understand. It's mini-boss time. It is definitely not a mini-boss time. No, this guy's a mini-boss. That said, he's still probably much better than I am. Right trigger immediately after blocking an attack guard counter. Understood. Oh, he faked me out. I'm bad. Okay.
Okay, okay. We are going to take this moment to practice doing these parries and apparently learning this man's oh it's ah uh, I was pressing right bumper not right trigger that's not how that works okay Everybody calm down, we're gonna be here for a while. Everything's perfectly fine. We're just enjoying the core gameplay loop of getting our ass beat in front of an air quotes boss You still traded with me? I parried with this man and he still traded with me. Okay. We have successfully parried twice. We should probably uh, take a swig. would seem very Dark Souls-esque for them to put another boss immediately after that one. Emotes? Touch grass? <clears throat> All right. Flasks. Add a charge to a flask. Use one golden seed to increase your number of flask uses. Yo, I'm terrible. I need it. Hold up. Let's allocate flash charges. I do not need mana, I believe. Let's immediately find out that we need mana. I need no blue juice. Um, I don't yet get to level myself. Understood. None in inventory. Man, I'm so owned. Excuse me? Are you a stone sword key? Jolly cooperation. Understood. even did they monopolize me hold up Oh. I got it.
I was distracted by beautiful celebrities. The red herring. I can roll through pots that feels faster than attacking them. This is new technology. Just use my head to break pottery. After all, it is only slightly softer than my Nippon steel. Touch Grace. Just to cut tires and lead them across the pot, but even now some. Understood. Understood game. With the man menu, you can check your current position, terrain, and surrounding area. Fast travel is new technology in Dark Souls. It's actually really not, but... between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Fuck, I'm owned. Guidance, without the strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Fuck, that's so real. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Bumble.com? Vare. Mm. Take care to listen. I'm sorry, bro, I'm not interested. With grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answer. Look at this fucking guy. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow. Even if it leads you to your grave. Uh, likely. Look at that freaking guy right over there. He's got a horse. You can use it to easily summon other players at these locations. Like, I almost feel like I'm supposed to be avoiding this dude on the horse. He looks way too regal for my current level. Sheep! Look at him roll! What the frick? The sheep used rollout. It's super effective. I could collect that. The game's pointing me in one direction and I want to go look over here. Um... Does that look spookable to you, chat? Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Are we even able to swim? Can I get to that island? Oh man, I'm just not used to jumping. I'm so happy.
This is some pretty tense music for some serene wildlife. A mushroom! Chat, are you a mushrooms on pizza kind of chat? I say chat, but I mean YouTube comments, obviously. This has got to be spookable. That won't kill me. Yeah. Burp! Did that give me, like, one soul? This is probably a terrible idea. Like, I understand Elden Ring is an open world. But it also doesn't have level scaling. So I'm probably, like, walking to my doom right now. And that's assuming that I can even get across this water in the first place. No bridge ahead. Um... Oh. Understood. Okay. Well, we're on a beach now. What the? You saw that? That thing attacked me. My reaction time would have... I would have been dead if that actually did damage. Okay. Okay, I remember Slimy Boys. I played Dark Souls 3. I deal no damage. It's okay. We'll get there. Okay, understood. That is not allowed. I have a three string combo. Understood. We are learning about the game. We are also taking lots of bad damage to learn. They call that the school of hard knocks. I don't know how I didn't get hit. Some real hitbox porn there. There is a homeboy by the pillar. I see him. Spirit spring jumping? What the frick? Well, hot jump roll on horseback near its spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. That is not how aerodynamics work. Also, I have no horse and I must scream. Come on, you little blobby piece of shit. My weapon must cause bleed, and that's where that burst damage is coming from. I see you. That did not feel worth it. It's not, uh, that was one of the worst trade deals in the history of trade deals. If I'm going to trade again, that'll probably kill me. Let's swig up. That is not the block button. That is not the block button. That is faster than I thought it was going to be. Okay, we're going to stop trying to learn to parry right now. Understood. All right.
Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Wow, new technology. Depending on the enemy group, you can't replenish more flasks than your maximum allows. That makes sense. That is huge. Is that how Dark Souls 3 worked? Or was that just... I thought it was a random chance whenever you uh, defeated, like, air quotes, elite enemies. Hello? I was probably looking through the terrain. I saw, like, a yellow dot. Oh, no, it's particle effects. Understood. Ah. You know, he just might be the worst gamer of all time. Maybe Sibbles and Bits plays turn-based strategy games because he's ass. Hold up, what? Um, okay. That's money? Okay, I need to get off this beach. I may have, uh... I don't think I've softlocked myself. Surely they've thought about people wanting to jo go to, uh, Pain Island over here. Oh, and I can fast travel at any time. That's right. Oh, hello? Hello, little hombre. I'm here to steal your smoldering butterfly. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either, homeboy. I don't think I need more arrows. We do need to start using the... What that, right? Expands crafting repertoire. Sounds like a good idea. Land squirts? Uh, minkus? Okay, this is a bit, uh, problematic. This was a wide attack, yeah? He's just screaming at me? Okay, never mind. Versus common enemies, we are unstoppable. We got some string. A little bit of string theory. Those blobs are larger than the other blobs. I'm honestly a little spooked. Oh, no. I'm not going to kill the turtle. You cannot... Oh, tumbleweed. We have the technology. Don't tell me to kill the turtle. That is not a dog. Nin nin. Okay. Oh my good lord.
there's no way that that caused that much of a... It's five souls? This is not worth it. Is there a drop? Yes. That was 53 damage. I have fucked up. I am two-handing a shield. That is not the intention. Oh boy, this is a bad idea. Let's do it. After all, I only have 900 souls, which is more than I've ever had. Take you away from your friend and away from Mr. Turtle. Okay, that's long range. I'm panicking. Alright, 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 alright. I should probably not be attacking next to its beak. That's a poise break. I have no stam, and I'm a scream. We just gotta get these bleed procs, that's how we're gonna do this. As long as he doesn't thrash, I think we can take out this guy too. I don't see why not. We need better green management though, that's for sure. Does this do any better? Not really. So it's all light attacks. Well, maybe it caused more bleed? If so, it's worth it. Maybe. Okay, I need to take care of these guys quick. Add management. Next. Um, that is the call of his people. That is not good. I don't know how you missed me, but I will take it.
That bleed needs to pop sometime soon. There it goes. Alright, see? Never scared. We've spent an hour aggressively not playing the main story, but I think we're better for it. I mean, look at this beautiful landscape we're discovering. Oh, hello. I feel like this is something that I don't know how to interact with yet. Is this on our map? Hell no. There's a coastal cave? Oh, that doesn't show up on my compass. I mean, we should probably uh, check out the coastal cave, no? It was in front of the merchant, it said? This way? see it's probably this building I will acquire the materials huh We're still not there yet Aha! Nice. We get to touch grass. Take a rest. There's a summoning pool here, which means that there's probably something very spooky in these caves. Cave moss, that's always good for you. Oh, that's an enemy. <laughs> I thought that was a ghost. <laughs> oh, that would have been embarrassing. I will not be distracted by beautiful celebrities. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, okay. Surely that it has to be the end of them.
Where did I drop down? I want to give that person an updo because I thought that I was going to drop into an abyss of death. This guy's just huffing an octopus ovary in here? What the hell? That looked like a boss ahead. So we are going to go ahead and make sure that we can make it back up here. Yes. Before we go down there. The reason it looks like a boss is because this is a yellow uh, summon sign. Is this a player or... No, this is an NPC. So we should... Summoning a Jolly Cooperator. I'll admit I'm a little spooked. Whenever the game gives you a AI co-op buddy, it's usually not a good sign. Large antechamber. Okay. I'm following its Finn's lead. Oh, that is some... Holy Lord. He's got moves. I am so glad that I summoned Homeboy here. guy is outside of my weight class. Wave two? Never thought I'd be part of an escort quest. It's me, I'm the escort quest. Take a little bit of a safety swig here. I'm a little bit uh, spooked because there was two health bars. There he is. Yo, we did it. Return to entrance, huh? Nice try. Nice that they have that though, for sure. one behind me. Okay, it's parry time. It was not parry time, but I still accidentally killed him. At least he dealt, like, no damage.
I'm at a different exit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there any uh, grass to touch nearby? Understood. Alright. Um, that is terrifying, not in a game sense, but in a reality sense. Oh, hello. <clears throat> I will not kill the... But how are penguins on this island? There's no way that it's cold enough for these penguins. We have both lambs and jellyfish and penguins. I'm calling you on your bullshit, Elden Ring. Oh, it's like a jackalope. What is this thing? A wallaby? I don't even know what I'm... Oh, no. That is an aggressive wildlife. I don't want to have to do this, but you have given me no choice except to run away, which I refuse to do because that'd be accepting defeat. Look at them! Yeah, jellyfish are rad, but they're chaotic neutral as fuck, and definitely eldritch monstrosities hidden in the depths of our ocean. In fact, the deeper you get into the ocean, the more you realize that the, that the ocean is just like the portal to another plane of existence where eldritch monstrosities exist. Well, they're worth runes. I can't level myself with them yet, probably because I've decided to um, sequence break my game. Hold up. No, not yet. I was going to say, do we actually have... No, we probably have to engage in the map mechanic. Oh, we're on... We're on Payne Island! Church of Dragon Communion. Okay, I should probably be here, though. So we're gonna travel here. Still kind of spooked about you.
At the smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Okay. I have a smithing stone. I feel like I shouldn't use that on my beginning weapon, though. Although, generally speaking, in Dark Souls, all weapons are viable. Some are just more equal than others. Let your lot after my throat. Says you. Something. I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Recommendation. No, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Can I buy your sick ass, like, instrument? Telescope, easily one of the most important things in the entire game. We will take dude's advice and we will purchase said crafting kit. I don't know, are we supposed to be, like, grabbing all this? Allows viewer to see far away things. That, that seems just fun more than anything, to be honest. Large leather shield. I don't think so. Torch seems useful. Yeah, I should probably buy a torch. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. I accidentally skipped something there because I was trying to go to the main menu that they had just told me about. All right. Um, equipment. This should be... This. Because now I can switch to that. And if we're not... <clears throat> if we're not using the shield, we really shouldn't have it equipped, yeah? Because we're mid-rolling right now. That really doesn't make a difference. Probably because we don't have it equipped. Okay. Item crafting. All this stuff does nothing for me right now. We're not going to use the smithing table. We're going to go ahead and save our progress. And then this should tell us... I, I have already fast traveled, thank you. We have to head that away. Let's go. I'm glowing for some reason. A little spooked. Back. Uh, totally rude.
that looked violent. I've avenged these two souls that have died. Which direction are we headed? This away. We are pointed in the wrong direction. Oh, what the? Oh. Don't do it. Oh, this doesn't have to happen. Just walk away. No one has to get hurt. Sure. Oh, he's got leaps. It's okay if I... Oh, that one's white. If I disregard their pack tactics, then I have the advantage. No dog knows how to handle ledges. Comedic timing, perhaps? See, I just got punished for parrying. Like, what kind of a system is that? Oh. 
Thank goodness for bleed. Woo! On the next episode of I Should Be Dead Right Now, uh, what is my status? Yes, thank you. I have 9 HP. The armor difference right there. Yeah, I got caught on the defensive during that, and that obviously was not working out for me. Uh, fortunately, we do bleed damage, and it saved our ass. I think we were relatively, like, not, we weren't good, but I think that... I don't know. I felt comfortable with the attack that he was doing to attack and then dodge, and then he just died. So, as long as he didn't do anything that I was bad at dodging, which is obviously, like, everything else that he was doing, I think that we probably could have sealed the deal, but, um... Yeah, the bleed difference. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello there. I have no health. And I'm a scream. It didn't have to end like this, homeboy. I am going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go touch grass. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. We're going to be sneaky. What? So... Wasn't Godric in Dark Souls 3? Like, legit? The Art of Concealment? They added stealth mechanics to my Dark Souls? Oh! It's a poogie! Look at him! No. I refuse. Don't make me do it. So just a heads up, we're going to find a place to uh, wrap this up real quick. Because we're getting close to one and a half hours, which is a long video as far as my standards. In the meantime, if you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And we will catch you... There should honestly be... There should be Elden Ring going up every single day except Sundays and we'll see how that goes obviously uh, life permitting and all that stuff otherwise I hope that you found our brief foray into uh, well, that that's not correct that that assumes that we are done um, Hope that you guys enjoyed our start in Elden Ring. Hopefully it ends up getting a little bit spicy. This is admittedly quite chill. The Beast Man definitely uh, almost had our uh, had our taints, but uh, 
we snatched our taints back from the taint of defeat. What the heck's going on over here? Are you guys friendly? You guys are not friendly. Okay, that's something for next video. Let's go back to the cave. We never should have left the cave, Jon Snow. Where is my cave? Anyways, I'm going to go find the cave, and I'm going to cut the video. You guys have a fantastic day. Oh, here it is. You guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys around.